Hey, what's up? I'm Brent Barnett with Gibraltar Hardware and welcome back to Brent's Hang. We're doing another custom shop makeover today. Now this is the video that you guys send me videos and pictures of your kit and I remake in my own way using Gibraltar Hardware. I get to Gibraltarize it. I just keep all of your stuff the exact same way that you have it. Now, I sometimes make it big, sometimes I'll make it small, but I'll always show you guys unique and different ways to use Gibraltar hardware and how you can customize it yourself. Now, for those of you that would like to submit, please send all inquiries to brentshang.gibraltar at gmail.com. So, the makeover that we're doing for the drummer today is Josh Van Otta. So Josh has a very simple setup. He's got a four piece kit, 12, 16, 22, 14 snare, two crashes, a ride, China hi-hats. I love simple setups because it's easy setup and tear down, not as heavy, you guys know the deal. But I found a way that we could help Josh to con consolidate what he has using Gibraltar hardware even more than how he already has it. So if we look at his setup, he has a, his left main crash has its own cymbal stand. Then he has his 12 inch tom mounted off with a clamp off of that cymbal stand. Simple enough. Now on the floor tom side, we've got a ride cymbal with its own stand and then his right main crash has its own stand. But his china is mounted off of the right main crash stand with a clamp and a boom arm. So let's see how we can simplify this even more than it already is. So other than his snare stand and hi-hat stand, Josh has his whole kit set up on three stands. I was able to knock that down to two. The stand that allowed me to do that is the 9713 PM. This is an adjustable mount platform stand. It has the ability to mount three different accessories, whether it's a tom and two cymbals, or two toms and a cymbal, or a tom, a cymbal, and a cowbell, however you want to do it. Two of the mounts have a geared adjuster so that you can adjust the angle of where the accessories come from, and the third mount is fixed. So I use that on both sides of the kit. So on the hi-hat side, I've got my rack tom mounted to a tom arm, the SCBC LRL. It's a 12.7 millimeter. If you need the 10.5, it's the SCBC LRM. Now this is mounted out of the fixed position clamp on the 9713PM. Then the left main crash, I mounted out of one of the adjustable angle clamps. Then it leaves me with a third clamp that's adjustable and available, so if I want to add another crash or if I want to add another splash, I have the ability to do so. Moving over to the floor tom side, I have the 9713PM holding all these cymbals. So the ride cymbal is mounted out of the fixed clamp, so it's not moving. Then I have the right main crash mounted out of one of the adjustable clamps, and now the china is mounted directly out of the other adjustable clamp. Josh's kit's already very simplistic. This is just another way that you can consolidate and drop one more stand, taking a little bit less time to set up and a little bit less weight in your hardware bag for you to get to and from the gig with. So these two stands allowed me to place the drums and cymbals exactly where he had them, but I was able to remove one on the floor tom side because I consolidated three cymbals into one stand. So the product highlights for this makeover is the 9713 PM, which is the adjustable mount platform stand. And I'll just go ahead and mention the boom, the SE SBBT short boom with a brake tilter. These are the mini booms, so you don't have to have a lot of excess boom arm um, sticking out your kit if you don't need it. Well, that's it for this episode of Custom Shop Makeover. Josh, thank you very much for submitting. I really appreciate it. The setup is very simplistic. I just wanted to show another option that Gibraltar has to help simplify drum and cymbal setups. We've got three cymbals on one stand here, a cymbal and a drum on this stand here, plus this gives us the option to add another tom, another crash cymbal, or another splash. For those of you that would like to submit, please send all inquiries to brentshang.gibraltar at gmail.com. We'll see you next time.